Jackson Smith, the Jigba, the uh, guy that I am absolutely scanning every wave of wire for. A lot of inpatient owners dropping him heading into last week after the bye week. And you got to go scan it, see if he's out there. And even if he's on a team, I bet you could pry him away for next to nothing. And I think buying low on him right now could pay humongous dividends later for JSN. Biggest role we've seen him have yet, you know, 81% of the routes, 14% of the targets. Not crazy, those five targets, but four catches, 48 yards. Again, nothing earth shattering here. It's just more so the fact that one, he was on the field just as much as DK and Tyler Lockett, 57 for DK, 56 for Lockett, just 52 there for JSN. That's the clear cut highest snap share though he's had on the year. And he ran exactly as many routes as both of those guys, 39 for all three wide receivers. Great to see him matching up on the lead guys here in terms of field time. Now it's a matter of, will the usage match it? Well, the good news is at least the targets, the A dot rather, 7.4 this week, actual NFL receiver type usage where he had been at 1, 2.33, 4.33. We've seen it go up every single week to now a quality number in 7.4. Uh, so I definitely could see JSN, this role continuing to grow and grow and grow. And even without an injury, more three receiver seats. And we call this the offensive line getting healthier, less two, ta- two tight ends with blocking considerations in there this last week more three wide receiver personnel for the first time this year. So even just that is going to lead to more opportunities for JSN. But of course, ultimate handcuff upside there if something happened to Tyler Lockett or DK Metcalf, who's missed time in multiple games right now. Uh, He keeps cutting it out, DK, but oftentimes getting a big hit, running to the sideline, missing some time. So ultimately, it seems like a time bomb waiting to go off. And the schedule is so favorable for all these wide receivers, but including JSN. So As a guy who has done almost nothing this year, if there's one receiver that could just blow up and go crazy down the stretch, I could see it being JSN, a guy that was better than Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson when they were all on the team together during their junior seasons. I could see JSN being an absolute monster at the NFL level as well when he finally gets used. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos. And join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.